For decades, design tools have been split into two worlds. On one side are HTML-based tools, which store everything directly as HTML or in a format that converts seamlessly into it. On the other side are non-HTML tools, which rely on proprietary file formats like FIG, Sketch, or XD that always require translation before they can run on the web. The balance between these two tracks has never been fixed. It has swung back and forth over time, and now, with the rise of AI and large language models, the pendulum is shifting once again, this time in favor of HTML. And that is why at Sketchflow we've built our editor on an HTML foundation. If we look back in the late 1990s and early 2000s, HTML native tools were in the spotlight. Programs like Dreamweaver or FrontPage allowed designers to build visually while storing projects directly in HTML and CSS. Even other site builders of that era, though they used their own internal logic, always exported into HTML so websites could go live. As web design became more complex, however, with responsive layouts, cascading style sheets, and the growing weight of JavaScript, many designers moved away from HTML native tools. They needed more creative freedom, so they turned to graphic software. For a long time, Photoshop mockups defined how websites were designed, even though it wasn't originally built for user interfaces. Later, Sketch arrived with a file format specifically for UI design, and in the mid-2000s, new generation tools like Figma took the lead with collaboration and cloud-based workflows. By the late 2010s, the dominance of non-HTML formats was clear, with surveys showing that one company alone had taken more than 80% of the interface design market. But that didn't mean HTML native editors disappeared, they kept evolving quietly in the background. In recent years, with the rise of no-code and visual building platforms, a new generation of editors has once again placed HTML and CSS at the center. What you edit visually is what you actually get in production. So instead of a straight line, the story of design tools looks more like a pendulum. At first, HTML was dominant. Then non-HTML formats took over, and now, with AI changing the rules, we're seeing the swing come back toward HTML again. Each track has always had strengths and weaknesses. HTML-based editors align design and code, reducing handoff problems and ensuring what you build visually is already usable in production. But for years, they struggled to match the creative polish and ease of experimentation that non-HTML tools offered. Non-HTML tools, on the other hand, gave designers freedom to explore ideas with beautiful polished workflows. Yet the price of that freedom was translation. Whatever was designed in those files had to be rebuilt in HTML and CSS by developers, and in that translation, details were often lost. This tension between freedom on one side and code readiness on the other has always defined the back and forth between the two approaches. Now we reach a turning point. Large language models are trained on tons of web data, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, so they're fluent in web code. This means they can easily generate page structures, adjust styles, and fix layouts but they don't see proprietary design files like Sketch or Figma much, so they don't really get them. This is where HTML-based tools have a big advantage. They're built in the same language that AI already understands, but to be clear, AI design tools are still pretty new. They can help and speed things up, but they're not here to replace human designers. The real magic happens when you combine human creativity with AI strength in HTML. When we built Sketchflow, we had a choice, invent another proprietary file format or align with the open standards of the web. We chose HTML and here's why. The first reason is AI synergy. Large language models are already fluent in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript because those languages dominate the open web. 
By grounding our editor in HTML, we make it easier for AI to generate layouts, restyle components, and refine designs today, and this advantage will only grow as models become more capable. The second reason is that Sketchflow goes beyond design. Our next release won't just stop at layouts, it will generate runnable source code. For mobile apps, Sketchflow AI will output native code like Java for Android and Swift for iOS. For websites, it will produce React.js code you can deploy directly. HTML gives us a unique edge here, because every UI framework is built on a hierarchical control tree, just like the HTML DOM. By storing designs in HTML, we give AI a structured tree representation that maps naturally into native source code. That makes the leap from design to production faster, smoother, and more reliable than starting from closed design files. This is why Sketchflow is more than just another design tool. It's a system where design, AI, and real code converge, supporting not only websites but also mobile and desktop applications. In the age of AI, HTML has a clear advantage. Large language models understand it better than any other format, making AI-powered design faster and more effective. With Sketchflow, we're bridging the gap between design and working products. Want to see it in action? Try Sketchflow at sketchflow.ai, and don't forget to subscribe for more insights on how AI is changing the way we design and build software.